and we're back. So, today is officially one week of Audi ownership. And she's in the garage. Uh, plain stuff is on the ceiling. Something there. See that. Uh, the goal is to, well the plan is to, whenever I need to work on the plane, I will back the car out. And she's very dirty. Uh, back the car out, unfold those folding tables, bring everything down from the ceiling. When the plane parts start getting a little bigger, I'm gonna have to get creative. Uh, who knows, maybe there's a new house in Dusty's Garage Future. Mad cow creations, mad cow blah, 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 whatever you might wanna call it. Week of Audi ownership, and we got some expenses. So, um, for some reason my camera didn't record the puddle, but, there might be a puddle again. Let's see, let's squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right, let's see. Can you see anything underneath there? Good. You can't, but. Oh, the poor car. Coolant on the ground. It's not losing much, but it's losing enough to be of concern. Two days ago, three days ago, there was a puddle of an oily substance under the car in the driveway outside. I panicked. Uh, and this was at night, discovered at night, so couldn't quite tell what it was. Felt oily. The next morning, went outside, a little bit of snow on the ground, it was red. It's coolant. So I was like, okay, yeah, sure, CarMax is gonna pay for it, whatever. That gave me a heart attack. We know that we've got the door handle, lock cap. We've got an issue with the heads up display. Now before I go into any of the details with the coolant, let's talk about those two things. So. Um, as you can see, door cap and heads up display control unit, 82, focus, 8260 and $2,841.43 for a grand total of $3,143.33 with sales tax. CarMax paying for both of those, confirmed, CarMax already put the PO in, um, those will show up in a couple days and Audi will probably install them for me. Either Audi or CarMax will install them for me free of charge, so good on them. Uh, on the same lines, same different lines, I don't know the history of this car, other than it being dirty because of me. And I decided to take it to Eurworks Motorsports in my town, uh, pretty close by a local shop specialized in German cars such as Audis, BMWs, etc for an oil change because I figured, I don't know the history, let's get an oil change to start. They also did a Euro multi-point inspection with service, so free of charge included in the Audi oil change. Uh, my oil change, $190.36. That includes uh, the oil filter, the Motul 5W40 at 8.8 .8 quarts, which is quite a lot and then disposal of the original 8.8 quarts. During that inspection, they found three things. The, a faulty oil separator, which, okay, whatever. I'm planning on doing the turbo oil screen removal next week. Uh, Euroworks quoted me $840 for that service. They're gonna lump in the oil separator replacement during that uh, work. So it saves me time by doing both at once. That came out to $1,405. There will be additional tax associated with it. On top of that, the car uh, requires its 50,000 mile transmission service at $637.52. And the thermostat housing replacement, which is what that coolant was up front, that coolant puddle in the driveway, uh, that comes out to $902 plus tax. So. They'd completed the transmission service at 900, not 900, $691.67 for a grand total of 958.58 for the service that was completed um, a couple days ago, and that's oil change and transmission service. The grand total for the remaining two items, the oil separator slash oil screen replacement and thermostat housing, comes out to, drum roll please,
Um, like I said, that's not out of pocket for me. Prestige is covering, or Carmax is covering 3143, 33 of that. Um, I was expecting the oil change at $190 and the transmission service was unexpected, but I would expect to pay that as well. So out of pocket right now, $958.58. Because there's a leak, should definitely be covered by CarMax. Um, that's an issue. And because the oil separator is faulty, I am going to petition for them to replace that as well. But I'm gonna get the work done first, and then I'll deal with um, uh, getting a refund after the fact. Because I don't wanna go back and forth to the dealership. So yeah, it's an expensive car. Highly recommend CarMax Max Care if you buy one of these from CarMax. Um, I was going into this whole process knowing that was, this was going to be an expensive car, and that way I'm not surprised when I see these types of bills. New day. Car is out of the garage because we are getting snow tires put on. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. Tire rack mobile installation. $100 a tire. I'm getting uh, some Yokohama Blue Earths put on there. Uh, that way we won't be sliding into the ditch on I-70. Right, Earl? Right. I don't want to be in your video. Well, you're going to be. So, latest thing, new tires on the car. I'm using the existing rims. And um, yeah, the guy's there. Car's in service mode. We'll be good to go in about 45 minutes. And the new tires are on. Hour later. Yokohamas, let's go. And there are the old tires. So put those in the garage or the shed and we'll be good to go. Ah, oh, cold, cold start. Whew. New day, new service appointment for the Audi, of course, but another one paid by CarMax. This time, window glass. Getting the front driver and passenger side window replaced because there was some bubbling, which I think I showed you in a clip. Bright and early, the car started leaking again overnight. But today's the day we are taking the car to Euroworks to get that repaired. So it lost a decent amount. So I'm going to top it off uh, just for the drive over. I don't want it to cause any issues. very tight squeeze in the garage. Whew. Yeah, that's one side and that's the other. All right, now the next day and we're walking to go pick up the car. So Euroworks is pretty close to me. Combining Palma, combining the Palma walk with the car retrieval. So it's a nice way to get outside at the end of a long work day. Car is back. Of course you can't see me, but there's Palma. First time in the Audi. Turbo oil screen oil separator, thermostat housing, all replaced, and it cost me $2,086.86. So, not too bad, not too great either. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad everything's done, and now I should be good to go on the turbo front, avoid that very expensive replacement. And it's back in the garage, once again. So. I think the leak is done, the oil screens are removed, and we are good to go. 
thanks for watching this one. We'll see you on the next one.